Hey everyone, June is in the books, so I wanted to share my trade results for June 2024. Before we get started, quick risk disclosure, we are not financial advisors or broker dealers. Securities used in these examples are for illustrative purposes only. We are not recommending that you buy or sell any security. Investing in options trading does involve risk. Please pause the video for the full disclosure. All right, so before I jump into my stuff, uh, another great month by Chad. Chad runs our day trading live stream a few days a month, and then we uh, stream jointly on the power hour, last hour of the day. So for his Mighty 90 and runners, uh, Mighty 90s, 13 winners, 3 losers, 81% win rate, a little over 3,800. Volume runners, 5 winners, 2 losers, a little over 1,800. Continuation runners, Four winners, zero losers, a little over 3,200 for a grand total of right at 8,900. And then another great month on his TLC zero DTE trades as well. Uh, on his AM trades, they actually performed the worst. 14 winners, 11 losers, only a 56% win rate, but still green, plus 1,250. Lunchtime, nine winners, three losers, 75% win rate, a little under 11,000. Power Hour, the big winner, 18 winners, five losers, 78% win rate, a little over 33K for a grand total of 45,625. Uh, Chad also started trading and tracking his 1DTE trades, uh, booked another 7,400 there. So total of 50, a little over 53,000 on the month. So another great month from Chad. Um, all right, onto my stuff. So I'll go over these by account first because uh, I trade in, in a few different accounts. Uh, June was actually my worst month of the year. So in this Tradier account, this is primarily uh, calendars, double calendars. I also use it for some random other trades that I don't have strikes available for in, in a couple of my other accounts. Uh, but minus 12.84% uh, had a max drawdown in this account of 14.1%. So here's the uh, here's the PL curve. You can see I was hovering near all time highs or yearly highs for the account, and then had a period of a few days where it really, really went south due to a bunch of double calendars that took losses and, and a couple other trades that all kind of hit at the same time uh, within a couple of days. So a little bit of a drawdown. Still green for the year on that account, but a uh, hefty little drawdown there in the last week. Uh, here's the Here's the portfolio monthly returns graph. You can see June was the worst, worst down, uh, down move in the account uh, for the year. In my TOS standard margin account, this is the account that I was using for my challenge portfolio. And so my challenge portfolio is no longer. Um, it, just, it's, it just took too big of a, a drawdown. It, it uh, Took over a 29% drawdown for the month, which I expected big drawdowns because of that aggressive allocation in this account. Uh, but starting in kind of mid third week of May ish, uh, I mean, it just it just absolutely kind of collapsed with the strategies that I was trading. So a uh, big drawdown on that one. Uh, here's the PL graph. You can see I started this around March 1st, had a great little quick run up, a uh, little pullback, which was a sizable pullback in uh, as far as the drawdown goes, but still manageable. Looked like it was getting on pe uh, back on track and then just absolutely puked, uh, like I said, from about the third week of May. So again, the account's still green. It was over 2x the value of what it started the year for at one point. And so just, I'm still going to be using some of the strategies in this challenge portfolio, but not the aggressive allocation. It's just it's just, I couldn't, I can't take uh, any continuation of this drawdown in the account. So I'm abandoning the challenge portfolio as it was, still utilizing some of the strategies just at a smaller allocation and a little bit more limited um, execution of, of entry. Here's the, uh, here's the graph. You can see uh, this month, obviously the worst of the months for the year. My TOS PM account strategy is primarily zero DTE, option selling, portfolio margin, and a small amount of, of other stuff, but uh, minus 28% in that account for the month. Uh, this is the account that's just really, I've never really had a 
much of a profit in this account all year and it and then it really uh got a hit again this month to bring it to new lows for the year here's the uh here's the monthly uh chart for that one and then uh so those are those are my results by account let's dig into my accounts by strategy so let me bring up my trader sync so we'll go over some groups of strategies here to start. These are my AM iron condors, uh, which includes my one-to-one -one ratio, uh, my Monday, Wednesday, 945 version, my 3-2 ratio. Uh, so you can see all in all with those uh, on my AM trades, minus 11K, 35 trades, 57% win rate. On my So here, I'll just show you the uh, challenge portfolio. Now I did stop the challenge portfolio before the end of the month. So it actually uh, actually started doing well again towards the end. But um, I had, of course, significantly reduced my size when it started to bounce back. But um, you can see down 52K in uh, on the challenge portfolio trades on, on 79 trades. Um, you can see it started to kind of do well towards the end, about the last week, started to pick back up. But uh, so, I'll, so I still like a lot of these strategies, the one DTE, the reentry, the, the reverse iron condor hasn't qualified much lately. The power hour trades, they're all still good strategies, but the aggressive allocation I was use, using to compound in this challenge portfolio, I won't be doing anymore. Uh, FOMC, we did have an FOMC day this year, uh, this month in June. So those three trades, a little bit red. I, uh, I took two of these F FOMC ratio diagonals, uh, two of which perform well. I went in for a third tranche and got hit on that one. So gave some back. Um, I won't be doing a third tranche going forward. Um, this was a, a bot error, uh, plus 1500 on my FOMC iron condor. And then my FOMC strangle, uh, did not work out minus 3,700 on that one. So a little over 500 down on FOMC day. My, uh, my rut one DTE hedge, a little bit green on the month, uh, slightly green, which the idea around this is to really just help kind of level out my zero DTE P and L. Now this is, uh, this hedge is, is really has just been in test mode with just doing, you know, one, one contract. So it's not, I haven't been taking a percentage of my risk or per, uh, percentage of my net lick or notional value or anything like, it, uh, like that at this point, uh, really just kind of watching it through multiple cycles to see how I want to allocate that. And, and I'm not quite ready. So just still doing small amount, but, uh, having a hedge that has a positive expected value, that's the idea. And, uh, to, to, to help, minimize the volatility of my of my p l curve once i once i implement it so that one continues to do as anticipated uh jsps i don't think i took any of these yeah uh then power hour my wugas did well five for five a little over 4600 on those uh my other power hour trades let me just get all these clicked not too many trades, but had a couple minus the Wooga. So yeah, uh, four different trades, a down day, a couple of all crush, another down day, a uh, small red on those four trades. Uh, PM had a couple of these. I think just one actually a, an update iron condor. Let's see. Yeah, just one uh, plus 885 on that one. Uh, price action trades, I'm trying to figure out how I want to classify these a little bit differently because as you can see here, I'm, I'm showing red, but that's because if I get stopped out on a price action, it's going to be, I'm considering it a price action trade. Some of the others that were winners, I ended up transforming and hitting max profit. And so those aren't included here, which is not really a very good depiction of the strategy and so i'm uh i'm trying to figure out in fact for july I'll, I'll have it figured out as far as classifying these correctly to give it a little bit better option because this basically like i said it it only includes the losers and then a, a few winners that i decided not to transform so um 
I'll, I'll figure that out for next month, but that is what it is. Uh, quad 40, this is one that I'm no longer trading. A little bit red for the month. Uh, did take a couple discretionary ricks. Uh, a few small winners there. None of those. My O2 call calendar, also one that I won't be trading any longer. Had four losers there. My 1 DTE, I still like this strategy. Uh, I've changed a couple things. It was red for the month, um, but I'll still be trading 1 DTE. And then 2 DTE, I've been testing. Uh, as you can see, these are all one lot. So I've, I've just added my 2 DTE to my, uh, to my trade plan. Let me update that. Yeah, small green, a little over a thousand bucks, just trading one lots. So I'll be adding the two DTE to my trade plan. And then, so that's it for zero DTE stuff. And I, I consider the one and two DTE trades, zero DTE. Uh, didn't have any closed dynamic butterflies on the uh, dynamic calendar. Well, let me just do this. Delete that. Dynamic calendars. There we go. Um, let's just look at all calendars. So pretty red for calendars, minus 17K on 33 trades. Had a few few sessions where a lot of these are Friday entries and got smoked out of a, you know, a handful here, 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 and here. So red for the month. Uh, still be trading calendars. You know, these definitely have periods of, of drawdowns where you have big moves or volatility collapses that just kind of works against them. But uh, all the strategy is still, still very positive for the year. Uh, let's see. Iron Ducks just had a couple of those small winners. Uh, option selling. So some of these are just some of these are still open. In fact, if I just do win or losses, take away the opens, four trades, uh, just a couple small winners, a couple small losers, small green. And then portfolio margin. Let's just get rid of these. I just had one, one PM trade. That was a PM time fly. Yeah, this one plus nine forty-five. So that is it for June. Good riddance, June. I am looking forward to July. The focus for July is I'll be doing, as I mentioned a couple times, is I'm going to be doing more price action driven entries as opposed to back test or time based entries. Uh, so entering more based on price action and then uh, doing a lot of transformers. Uh, we've been, we've had three of our transformer sessions that I've taught so far, uh, four, including the magic Mahomes. And so I'll be focusing a lot on those strategies and taking different spreads and different iron condors and condors and butterflies and, and transforming them to remove the risk and letting them ride for potentially more profit. So that is the plan for July, uh, kind of changing things up as far as my strategy. I, I like the idea of doing that now for a couple of reasons. One, VIX is very low, you know, volatility and premiums are very suppressed. And so I think it makes a lot of sense to do some of the transformer strategies uh, at this point where I'm taking profits, booking profits on part of the position, transforming the rest, removing risk, giving myself a chance to, to book more on that remaining piece. So that will be the main focus for July. Look forward to chatting with you all soon. Take care.